Good morning you guys and welcome to a new video here on my channel. Today I am a little bit tired because yesterday I was at the first day of the Lollapalooza festival here in Stockholm. Today it is day two and I am in a hurry <laughs> as always. I have to get ready in like two hours and then we have to get going to see 1975, one of my favorite bands. So yeah let's just get started i am not going to do something super spectacular today it is something that you might have seen before but with other products and also one color that i've had such a hard time to find but i looked through everything that i own <laughs> makeup wise and i found absolute best shades for this look all right let's go <laughs> First off, I am going in with this Bear With Me Primer. It is a hydrating jelly primer. Looks weird, as you guys can see. <laughs> Oops, I dropped like all of it. Great, great. Um, I have actually done a first impression on this, but I did not upload it <laughs> because it, I think it was the audio or something. It turned out really, really bad, but it is so nice, this primer. I absolutely love it. and now for my favorite foundation it is the peach perfect comfort matte foundation in snow you guys have seen me use this a million times it is still my favorite foundation so as we are in a bit of a hurry we're just gonna add it directly on my face and we're going to bounce it out with our beauty blender that is damp Yesterday we actually saw Billie Eilish and uh, Lana Del Rey. I thought it was really cool to see them both and Billie is so young, <laughs> which kind of um, terrifies me because I'm like, uh, I'm 24. <laughs> what have I done with my life? I don't know. And for concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. Because this is a concealer that you can trust. <laughs> So I feel like that is a good way to go. I honestly wasn't that um, excited about doing my makeup for this festival because I'm mostly there just with friends and then I don't really want to show off. I just want to like... Okay, sorry, my battery died. So I just had to set the concealer before it creased. I used my favorite close-up Nabla powder to set underneath my eyes and like in the T-zone. Because we are going to go in with a cream bronzer. And this is like the only bronzer that I've ever really liked. It is so nice. And it is a new product from the Body Shop called Honey Bronze. Universal Bronzing Balm. So I just use it with a Fenty highlighting brush actually. <laughs> I think it works great for that. I'm just gonna bronze a little bit but yeah what was I saying I am there at the Lollapalooza mostly with friends so not really working although no society a 100% cruelty free and vegan brand sent us to Lollapalooza me and my boyfriend but we're not really working or anything like that. We're just hanging out as normal people. <laughs> I don't really love having a lot of makeup if I'm at a festival with just friends. That's what I was going <laughs> to say. I can't really wear like sunglasses because then my makeup gets fucked. And also, I don't know, my eyes always tear up and stuff like that. Tomorrow it is Sunday and it is the last day of the festival. And then I'm probably just going to go with like minimal makeup and now just lightly i'm going to go in with a swedish brand called indie beauty it's actually one of our biggest uh influencers that has created this makeup brand and this is the bring on the sun bronzing powder in danisa i will also kind of use this for contouring because it is quite a cool toned bronzer so I'm also going to use this on my nose. And now for a blush, I'm gonna use, as like always, Tarte's blushes. And this is called Sunny Side. And as always, I'm gonna use a little bit too much. I am quite pale right now, so I actually thought that I would use the 
Ofra Glazed Donut Highlighter. I don't really use it that much because I think it's like a little bit too white and I don't really love that anymore. But for today, I think it will look cute. It's like so white <laughs> and bright. But I mean, it is festival, so why not? And the nose. And that is the base ready. I'm just gonna go in with some Lock It setting spray from Cat With Me. I think this is so nice. I also have a uh, spray from the Body Shop that is SPF 30. So I'm gonna spray that just before I go as well for some more coverage from the sun. Now I'm gonna go in with the Deep Brow Gel in Caramel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I absolutely love to use this gel for like a brow gel at first. And then I just go in with a small brow liner brush and uh, fill it in just a little bit more. All right, and now finally for the eyes, I want one pink, <laughs> very original, <laughs> and one eye lime green. And lime green is the color that I spent like 20 minutes looking through all of my makeup stash and uh, I couldn't find like any first. But then finally I found the Sugar Pill Acid Berry and this, my god, it is the perfect shade. Perfect, 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 perfect. I'm just gonna pack it on. I might use a damp brush after a while, we'll see. Now for the other eye, I'm gonna go in with the jaw <laughs> breaker. Am I saying that right? <laughs> when I tried this out, so many of you guys were like, why are you saying it so weirdly? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. I would say jawbreaker, but that's how you pronounce J in Swedish. Uh, <laughs> so I say jawbreaker, but I think it's jawbreaker. Not sure. Oh well. I'm gonna go in with the shade called Bubblegum all over the lid on this side. Now I'm just gonna go in with the matte white shade called Virgin and I'm just going to layer that underneath my brow to make a pop. I'm just gonna lighten in the inner corner just a tiny bit and then I'm gonna layer a yellow there because I mean I love jello. <laughs> jello? Am I pronouncing that wrong maybe? Jello? I don't know, fuck it. For the yellow, I'm using the shade Wow in the Jawbreaker palette. <laughs> and I'm gonna put this on both of the eyes in the inner corner. This is also one of my favorite things to do when I want to look a little bit more fun. <laughs> I go in with a yellow eyeliner in my waterline. This is the Happy Mood Crayon from Linda Halbert Cosmetics. Okay, now I'm thinking either if I should go in with some glitter. I have these glitters in pink and green, so I thought that I would look really cute. But I'm not really sure if that... I like, I really love just a matte look. <laughs> but maybe like underneath, like you guys know, glitter tears, duh. <laughs> or just like here maybe. Now I'm gonna go in with some super trashed Cocoa Lashes from Rouge and Rogue. You guys know my favorite. And now lastly for the lip, I am thinking as I'm going to be at a festival, it would be really nice to have a liquid lipstick at least for me, because I don't really have that dry of a lip. And also a nude would be just the ultimate, most comfortable thing. So I think I'm gonna go in with the Tardiest Lip Paint from Tarte in Pillow Talk. Hmm, I don't really know if I like this. I feel like you can see the strokes that I've done. I don't know. Mm, I'm not really feeling it. I'm gonna change. <laughs> 
I'm back and I'm thinking that I will use the Lovecraft Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from Castle D. I was planning to have lip gloss, but I actually really like how this looked, so I'm thinking that I will leave it like that. I'm going to fix my hair a little bit and then I will be back and also show you guys my outfit for today. And then we're off to the festival. Yay. Um, alrighty, there we go. I just put my hair up and uh, added a bandana because I thought that that would look cute and also very comfortable. <laughs> Although my hair is very short, it's just nice to get it out of the way. I also asked you guys on Insta story, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram because please, <laughs> it will be fun, I promise. I asked you guys what kind of... Um, outfit I should wear and it seems like you guys want me to wear the other outfit so not this one <laughs> which I am actually quite happy about because I just got my period like five seconds ago <laughs> and uh, I feel like that other outfit is a little bit less revealing and a little bit more safe so I'm just gonna show you guys it here and um yeah if you guys are interested it is from doll scale I'm not sure if it's available anymore uh, also, very sad because I don't know if you guys saw my video where I clean out my closet, but I'm no longer going to be able to do doll skill hauls probably, which I'm very, very sad about. And it is pretty much only because I live in Sweden, from what I've understood at least, and that sucks. <laughs> I should move to the US. But I really should not because I do not want to. <laughs> um, but yeah, the outfit is from Doll Scale and it is the Adelias collaboration. So if you guys are interested, I can try and uh, put them down below. And yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, please let me know if you are going to any festival. I would love to know. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope that we will see each other in the next video. So be sure to subscribe. <laughs> okay, bye guys.